All right, continuing on the line of Pythagorean theorem, if you watched all the way to the end of the last one, I made the comment about missing a leg and finding it, and of course my husband gave me a wonderful look. Um, obviously I made of a triangle, not your own leg, but um, what is the length? We're wanting to now find the length of unknown legs. We're still going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And this is going to advance because for some reason we don't want to start with a pen. All right, so we're still using a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Um, again, though, I look across from my right angle, c is 13, and then I always say that I'm looking for b, so I'm going to call the 12a and our missing side b. So when I plug in, I use that sub substitution property, I get 12 squared plus b squared equals 13 squared. And so then 12 squared is 144 plus b squared equals, and then 13 squared is 169. Now I've just got to solve for b, and so I'm going to do that by subtracting 144. This is why solving equations is so important because it's in almost everything that we do after we learn it. And then 169 minus 144 is 25. Again, this is b squared, not b. So to get b by itself, we're going to take the square root. And so then we get b equals 5. And that's my, that's my answer. b is 5. All right, so moving to our next example. The length of the diagonal of a television screen is 42 inches. And actually, if you didn't know this, when you're buying a television screen and it says it's a 60 incher, it's the diagonal of the screen. It's not like from side to side, your length, it's your diagonal. Um, the length of the bottom of the screen is 36 inches. To the nearest tenth, what is the height of the television? So again, here's our right angle. So that makes the 42 my C, and I'm looking for B, and we're going to call 36A. So again, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I should be seeing each of these steps. Now, you don't have to write A squared plus B squared equals C squared each time, but I should see that you are writing 36 squared plus B squared equals 42 squared and that you are squaring the 36, and that 36 squared is 1,296. Basically, when I show work on the slide, that's the type of work I'm looking for when I ask to see your work. All right, so from here, this is what I have. I'm going to subtract the 1,296 from both sides. And so then b squared will equal 468. I need to get b by itself, so I'm going to square root this. And so then b will equal, and the square root of 468, if I type it into the calculator, is 21.6. So the height of our TV is 21.6 inches. And I have, remember, I rounded to that 0.6. All right, last example, another pyramid, but that's because I wanted us to get some practice with pyramids. The entrance to the Louvre Museum in Paris, France, which is a really cool museum, uh, I have personally been there myself, uh, is a square pyramid. To the nearest tenth, what is the height of the pyramid? Now, this red line with the 27.9 pointing at it, that's our slant height because that's the height of the slant. But when we talk about height height, that's when we drop this line straight down to the center of the pyramid. And so now I need to find this side length so that I know can find this side length. So this is the B that I'm looking for, that's my height. But remember we talked about that that height drops directly to the center. They give me the entire side. So I need to start by dividing the 35.4 by 2. 
And so that gives me 17.7 .7 when I do that division. So basically, if it helps, I am now looking at the following right triangle. Slant height, 27.9. I don't know my height, so I'm going to call that B. And the, my A side, this is C because it's across from the right angle. A is 17.7. Excuse me. So that's the triangle I'm working with. So again, as we've been doing, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a is 17.7 .7 squared plus b squared equals 27.9 squared. I square my numbers and I get 313.29 plus b squared equals... 778.41. I'm going to subtract the 313.29. And so now I have that B squared equals 465.12. I've got to take the square root. So square root of 465.12, and I'm rounding to the nearest, oh, there it is, tenth. So I want one decimal place. So B is going to be, or approximately, 21.6 meters. That's how tall the height of this pyramid is. Now, remember, that's meters. Meters is several feet. All right, so... That is how we can find the missing leg of a right triangle. In the next video, we're going to talk about um, using uh, triangles within the coordinate plane and finding the distance uh, between two points using right triangles. So, until then.